you can draw great faces. I promise you. But if you're struggling, there are five common mistakes beginners make that you might be making too. Let's fix that. I call the first mistake detail diving. This is when you're so excited about a new drawing project that you jump right into the details and hyper focus on them. Instead, sketch a few guidelines so your proportions are right from the beginning. Start with the circle for the top of the skull, then build onto it by adding lines at different angles for the other key areas of the head, like the eyes, nose, mouth, and hair. Once I've completed this quick sketch, I like to take a kneaded eraser and roll over everything until I can barely see the lines I just drew. Then I redraw the face using the lightly erased lines as my guide. I really focus on accuracy here by making small adjustments as I retrace the lines so they match up really well with the subject. This added step may seem unnecessary, but it'll help make the final drawing accurate and ensure it actually looks like the person I'm drawing. Now we can shade things in. I start with the eyes and continue using my pencil to fill in the darker shapes that stand out to me the most. I go back and forth between the eyes and build them up a little at a time. When it comes to skin and other large areas with value, it can be challenging to shade everything evenly, and this is where I see beginners making their second mistake. They often limit the tools they use to just one or two drawing supplies. For instance, I can make things much easier for me if I apply charcoal powder using a brush in order to shade larger areas and blend everything smoothly, rather than shading over the entire surface with a small pencil. Be sure to tap off excess powder and test your brush on a spare sheet of scratch paper before doing your lighter skin values. Remember, it's always easier to add more than take away, so try brushing a bunch of lighter layers. Unless, of course, you're shading really dark areas, then just load up the charcoal and go for it. In addition to charcoal powder, I love using blending stumps and erasers as unconventional drawing tools. I'll actually take used stumps and draw with them when I need to add some softer marks to targeted areas. Erasers are great to use as drawing tools too because you can erase highlights into anything that's already shaded. For realistic features, it all comes down to the shading. How the light hits the shapes of the face and how sharp or dull the shadows from the light sources are. If you can nail the shading, you'll end up with a realistic drawing. The mistake beginners often make when drawing realistic faces is they flatten it. That is to say, they shade with the same pressure across the entire face or limit their drawing tools to a single pencil. In addition to charcoal for the darker darks, use darker graded pencils like 2B and higher for the dark shadows. These will give your drawings much more depth and dimension, as though the face is actually coming forward off of the page. Highlights are equally important for this reason, so think about using a white gel pen for the lightest lines and things like the shines on the eyes and the lips. A really helpful way to see if your overall shading is accurate is to squint every so often while looking at your subject and take note of the darker blobs of shadows that you see. Then squint while looking at your drawing and compare the darker areas between both. This trick gives you a good sense of the general values and makes it much easier to tell where they're inconsistent between your subject and your drawing. Lack of constant comparison between the subject and the drawing is another common mistake beginners make when drawing faces and results in a drawing that looks strangely off. In fact, most of your time drawing should actually be spent comparing and refining. Aim to spend at least 50% of your time looking at your reference and don't be afraid to modify your drawing. Compare, erase, reshape, redraw, and repeat as much as you need to until you're satisfied with how things look. This ties into the final mistake I see beginners make, and that is ending early. I get it. If you spend a lot of time on a drawing and can't quite figure out why it doesn't look right, you'll just want to quit. But at this point, you should take frequent breaks. Because guess what? Your drawing is in the final stages and taking breaks now is actually part of the process. It's very important that you leave it for a little while and come back to it with fresh eyes because it's the easiest way to pinpoint where things are wrong. Then it's just a matter of making small adjustments until you're ready for another break. Just repeat this until you're happy with the face drawing and decide it's complete. Well, I'm Artifacts and I hope you keep these five drawing mistakes in mind the next time you tackle your face drawings. Be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you next time.